The car market has been a crazy place during the last few years and the 911 GT3 market is no exception to this. We saw 991 prices surge and stabilize and 992 prices going to the moon. But that's not all. The market also refound its love for older GT3s. So now that 2022 is well underway, it's a good moment to take stock of the GT3 market and identify the three price trends that are worth following in 2022. They might end up earning or saving you a lot of money. Yet, before we dive into those, let's have a look at today's market so we're all on the same page. Over here we have the US market of April, with the model year on the horizontal axis and the price on the vertical axis. Each generation is displayed with a different color. We have the 996, 997, 991 and 992. And naturally, there are large price differences. The 996 GT3 tends to be the cheapest and the rarest. There are only three cars for sale currently, and with a median price of $129,000, they offer the most affordable way to enter the GT3 market. One level up though, things are more clustered. We can see that 997 and 991.1 prices are similar. They both hover around $150,000. However, if you want something special, the 997 is the one to go for. It's considerably more exotic as there are only 9 cars for sale. The 991.1 is a lot more common with 39 cars for sale. And as you might know, there were some issues with the 991.1 that were resolved with the 991.2 introduction. And this is clearly reflected in the prices. A 991.2 is $53,000 more expensive and hereby really a step up from all the previous generations. Especially the Touring fetches a large premium as they go for around $275,000. However, that's still below the price of a new 992 GT3. You can see that a few of them are listed for MSRP, but I highly doubt that you can get them for that price. Most cars are listed above $300,000 and prices go up all the way to $377,000. The car is immensely popular and this is reflected in the prices. So we're now up to date on today's prices. But the graph that we just saw only provides a static picture, while I think that most of you are interested in the price trends. As I mentioned before, car values have been wild, and the GT3 market is no exception to this. Values surged, but they didn't increase with the same amount in each market segment. Moreover, some price trends are already cooling off as there are price stabilizations. I had a look at all of these developments, and I think that the following three are worth watching during 2022. The first one is the price stabilization in the 991 market. Over here we have in orange the price development for the 991.2 and in blue the one for the 991.1 and these prices exclude the Touring model. Now we can see that prices followed the price trend of the broader market. Between January 2022 and November 2020, prices mostly followed their normal pattern. 991.2 values came down slightly while 991.1 values remained stable. After that though, the pandemic effect kicked in and value surged. Between November 2020 and now, prices increased with 25.5% in the 991.1 market and with 30% in the 991.2 market. However, most of this increase was taken between November 2020 and July 2021. After that we can clearly see a flattening of the curve and hence a more stable price development. And this goes especially for the 991.2. Prices only increased with 4% since last summer and with 1% during the last 3 months. The latter increase is then also not statistically confirmed, so this means that it could be the result of chance. As you can see from the blue line, the same doesn't apply so much to the 991.1 market. Yes, prices are increasing less severe than during the pandemic, but the increase is larger than in the 991.2 market. Since July 21, prices increased with 7% or $11,000, so this is a bit more than the 4% in the 991.2 market. Visually, the price trend does then also look a lot stronger. So where does this difference in price development come from? The underlying market characteristics developed in the same way for both cars. Supply is down, the median mileage is up and the median model year didn't change. So what's going on? Well, I think you can make the argument that DOT1 prices are simply catching up with the price increase in the DOT2 market. Since January 2022, a DOT2 has been on average 34% more expensive than a DOT1. There are of course reasons for this, but we won't go into that now. We already covered them in my previous market update. Between November 20 and July 21, DOT2s increased a lot more than DOT1s, hereby increasing the gap to 37%. More recently though, the DOT1 has been increasing more and the gap between the models is now again at the average level. Hence, when you look at the full period, the price increase is the same for both models. 
Now in the previous market update I stated that in my opinion the downside price risk was much larger than the upside potential. Based on an analysis of supply and demand I showed you why I thought that a stable price development or a slight price decrease was more likely than a significant increase. Given the small non-significant price increase in the DOT 2 market I think that held quite well in that segment. Clearly it wasn't correct for the DOT 1. The price trend continued almost linearly and this doesn't fit with a flat price development. I was especially wrong about the supply side of things. I showed you that supply levels stabilized and that I thought it was likely that levels would stay there. However, we can see large price drops in supply, especially in the 9 and 1.2 market. And all of this of course helps to support the current price levels. Going into 2022, I think that the 991 GT3 price trend is a key one to follow. It's the most popular GT3 model and it hereby represents a large part of the market. Or in other words, it might work well as a proxy for what's happening in this market segment. Now when it comes to the future price development in 2022, it's very tricky to say what will happen. We are seeing that many markets are topping or at least showing a significant decrease in the price increase rate. Hence, I still think that the original premises holds. A stable price development is more likely than a significant increase. The previous price surge was caused by a record disequilibrium between demand and supply. Therefore, this means that we would need a similar gap for prices to surge with that speed. And in my opinion that's unlikely to happen, so I think it's very risky to bet on another increase of 25%. Rather, I think that prices will move with smaller jumps, like we saw in the 9.1.2 market. The downside risk is still larger than the upwards potential, but less so than in the previous market update. Alright, we spent now quite some time talking about the 9.1 GT3 market. But the GT3 market is of course much larger than that. There are also interesting things happening in the 997 and the 992 market. And both of them are interesting to follow during 2022. But before we look into those, I would like to get your attention for today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Exclusive Auctions. Exclusive Auctions is a new full service online auction platform for buying and selling exotic cars, race cars, sports cars and specialty vehicles and they have many really great features. With their gold listing package, sellers pay zero listing fees and receive 100% of the selling price of their vehicle. They offer full service after sale support with everything from pre-purchase inspections and transport services to escrow services ensuring a safe and secure transaction for both buyer and seller. Click on the link below or go to exclusiveauctions.com and register to bid or list your car for sale today. But now then, let's go back to the GT3 market and have a look at the second key price trend to follow during 2022, the one for the 992 GT3. It's no secret that demand is through the roof for this car and that prices are far above MSRP. However, prices started to come down slightly. Over here we can see that prices decreased with 3% or $10,000 between January and April. And this price increase is statistically confirmed. And again, this means that it's unlikely to be the result of chance and that it is likely that we're looking at a real price decrease over here. But let's zoom in a bit further so we can see what happened in the 992 market. Over here we have the mileage to price relationship for January and April. And we can see first of all that the orange line lays above the blue line, showing that prices decreased. Moreover, it goes for all cars, low and high mileage ones. You can see it really good from these orange dots over here. These GT3s are clearly priced a lot lower than 3 months ago. Going into 2022 it will be interesting to follow this. Porsche GT products have a tendency to increase after their introduction and decrease at a later stage. And we might have just witnessed the first minor price decrease. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think that we will see these cars at MSRP anytime soon, if ever, but it signals that the value surge might be over. We'll need more data to confirm this and I will continue to update this trend. I therefore recommend to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on 992 GT3 prices. And that brings us to the last price trend to follow, the one for the 997 GT3. That car really entered the collectible car zone as prices are now above the ones for the 991.1 GT3. Or to put it in other words, the older version is now more expensive than the newer version. And to me this really signals that the 997 GT3 achieved the collectible car status. Over here we have the price development for the 991.1, 997.1 and 997.2 market. And we can see that the price increase in the 997 market is outrageous. We are looking at a 42% increase for the dot 2 and an 83% increase for the dot 1. 
997 prices crossed 991.1 prices in January and stayed above it ever since. However, we need to be a bit careful with relying too much on the specific increase rates. Supply is very limited in the 997 market. The shaded area shows the price uncertainty and you can see that they are quite large for the last two 997 data points. Nevertheless, the shaded areas are at or above 991.1 price levels, hereby showing that it is likely that the 997 crossed the 991.1. Moreover, a look at the auction results from Bring a Trailer confirms this picture. Prices hovered for a long time around $100,000, but more recently a few cars were sold for around $160,000. The exact price level that we saw in the data. Now it will be interesting to follow this price trend during 2022. Will we see that 997 prices stabilize at this level? Will they plummet back to where they came from? Or will we see a continuation of the upward price trend? It wouldn't be the first time that we see prices for GT products go through the roof. Moreover, will we see this just in the GT3 market or will we see the same pattern in the Ferrari or let's say the Lamborghini market? These are all questions we can't answer right now, but hopefully we can in the future. And with that I think it's time to wrap up and conclude. What are the three key price trends to watch in the 911 GT3 market during 2022? First, the stabilizations in the 911 market. We saw that prices in the DOT2 market stabilized after a large value surge, whereas prices in the DOT1 market are still increasing, but at a lower pace than before. The 991 market is by far the largest GT3 market, and it will be interesting to see if prices will further stabilize. I think it's likely that they will. But please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Second, we saw that 992 prices are extortionate, but that we might have witnessed the first price drop. Let's track this during 2022 and see if GT3 premiums pass their highest point. We simply need more data to confirm this trend. Third, we saw that 997 prices surpass 991.1 prices. Hence, I think we can call the 997 GT3 officially a collector's car, even though that's still relatively young. It will be interesting to see if this translates to other markets and how this will develop into 2022. And with that we arrived at the end of this video. Now if you enjoyed this data driven way of analyzing car markets but would have liked to see the analysis for a different car, let me know the name of the car for which you would like to see an analysis down below in the comment section. Once there are enough requests for a certain car, I will make a video about it. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next week for a new video.